Oh, this must have brought back some really bad memories for you, Ross. Why? Well, Ross was mugged as a kid. You were? Yeah. It was pretty traumatic. It was outside St. Mark's Comics. You know, I, I was just there minding my own business, you know, seeing what kind of trouble Spider-Man got into that week. Oh, <coughs> Wonder Woman. <coughs> Anyway, I was heading towards this bakery, you know, to pick up a couple of dozen Linzer torts for someone. <laughs> when out of nowhere, this, this, this thug with a pipe jumps out and says, give me your money, punk. Oh my God. I know, and the worst part was they took my backpack, which had all the original artwork I had done for my own comic book, Science Boy. Oh yeah, what was his superpower again? A superhuman thirst for knowledge. <laughs> well, I, I better get to class. Are there any more of your friends I should look out for on my way, Phoebe? No. Actually, you might want to stay away from Jane Street. That's where Stabby Joe works. <laughs> okay, I think we have a problem here. What? Well, um, back in my mugging days, you know, I, um, I worked St. Mark's Comics. Yeah? Well, a pipe was my weapon of choice, and um, preteen comic book nerds were my meat. <laughs> so? Well, there was this one kid who had a sticker on his backpack that said, Geology, Geology rocks. <laughs> oh, my God. I know. I mugged Ross. <laughs> No one ever asked me that. What's wrong? Nothing. I really want to know. Oh, uh, well, uh, there was actually a rather lively discussion about the Pleistocene. No, I, nothing is worth this. <laughs> um, I have a, I have a confession to make. Um, okay, you know that um, that girl that mugged you when you were a kid. What What are you talking about? It wasn't a girl. It was this this huge dude. You don't have to lie anymore, Ross. I know that it was a 14-year-old girl. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. You don't think I would have defended myself against a 14-year-old? Give me your money, punk. Oh, my God, it was you! <laughs> I can't believe it. You... You mugged me? Yeah, and I'm so, so sorry, Ross. I'm sorry. But, you know, if you think about it, it's kind of neat. <laughs> I mean... Well, it's, it's just that I've always felt kind of like an outsider. You know, the rest of you have these connections that go way back. And, you know, now you and I have, have a great one. It's not the best. I know. I'm so, please forgive me. I don't know what to say. There's nothing you can say. That was the most humiliating thing that ever happened to me. Really? Even more humiliating? Yeah, let's than... not do this. <laughs> Ross. Okay, look, I know you're still mad at me, but can I just talk to you for a sec? Sure, go ahead. Oh, sorry. Sure, go ahead. <laughs> I just really wanted to apologize again. And and also show you something I think you'll find very exciting. Oh my god, crap from the street. <laughs> Ross, in this box are all the things I got from mugging that I thought were too special to sell or smoke. <laughs> anyway, I was looking through it, and I found Science Boy. Oh, my God. <laughs> I never thought I'd see this again. <laughs> what? Is it's all here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what, what made you save it all these years? I guess I just thought it was really good. And, and maybe it would be worth something one day. You really thought Science Boy was worth saving? Well, yeah. <laughs> but you should know, I also have a jar of Vaseline and a cat skull in here. <laughs> Still, this, this is amazing. Oh, my God. Thank you, Phoebe. You're welcome. And thank you for Science Boy. I learned a lot from him. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, hey, Ross. Oh, I'm so glad someone's here. Could you zip me up? Uh, sure. Thank you. 
Can you believe no one between my apartment and here offered to do that for me? People. So, uh, why are you so dressed up? Oh, um, Mike's picking me up for a date. Oh, yeah? Now, uh, how's that going? Uh, is it getting serious? Uh, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, you know, I like him. But, you know, am I ready to take my grade-A loins off the meat market? I'm not quite sure. You know, I, I really admire your, your whole dating attitude. It's so healthy. I'm always like, is this moving too fast? Is this moving too slow? Where, where is this going? Yeah, you know, you are a bit of a drama queen. <laughs> well, you, you're so much better off, you know? You just go from guy to guy, having fun, and not worrying that it never turns into anything serious. I would say never. You know, there was that guy. Okay, well, what about... Okay, well, there's gotta be someone. There isn't, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh my God, you're right. I know, and yet here you are, all ready for the next date. <laughs> I can't believe I never realized this before. I'm in my 30s and I've never been in a long-term relationship? Oh my God, what's wrong with me? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I, I'm, there's, there's nothing wrong with you, I mean. You don't strike me as the type of person that wants to get married anyway. I don't want to get married. Uh, please, please don't cry because of me. I, James, I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay? I've been divorced three times. <laughs> yeah, well, at least you've been married. Oh, my God, I want to trade lives with Ross. Oh. Phoebe. Oh. What's wrong? Nothing. I'm excited about our date. <laughs> Mike. This is Ross Geller. Ross, this is Mike. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't catch it. It's Mike Hannigan. Oh, Ross Geller. Hey. Uh, so, are you sure you're ready to go? Mm-hmm. How do I look? Do you have a, a compact in your purse? No. You look great. 